Hi everyone, it's Gail and we are going to start a new series. We are going to do a binder journal and as you can see it's going to be garden themed. Thank you so much for all your input on what we should do. Um, I would say probably garden and sewing books were uh, fairly much of a tie, then cookbooks, then then the more masculine journal. So I did the tie breaking. Um, I have four of these kind of binders and I only have three sewing. So I thought, well, I'll do the garden because I have more of those. So here it is. Isn't it pretty? <laughs> I'll show you the paper and everything in a minute. Let's say hi and hugs first. So hi and hugs to Susie, Sarah, Stephanie, and Crafty Senora. So that is that. And I'll tell you what I have here. Um, I have got a little piece of throwaway cardstock that I'm going to make a template for the pages. I had one somewhere, but I can't find it. So we'll just make another one. No big deal. Um, I have a little project tray and then I have my basket because I actually found a couple of little, I was doing some more of my de-stashing and found a couple things I might want to put in. Um, a little seed envelope here and this little sack that says planted with love. So we'll put those in there. Um, the other thing I have, let's see if I can kind of bring these up one at a time. I'm going to try and slide that over. Um, I have a stack of books by my feet <laughs> and they're ones that I think I might want to use pages of. So I will show you. The first batch is Edith Holden, of course. This is the book that I've been pulling things out of. So I thought I'd see what there is in there. I feel like most of the summer pages are gone. So there's a few spring ones that are definitely gardening. So we'll see what's in that one. And then um, I grabbed this one. Um, this one I got at a thrift store or um, thrift place online, thrift books it's called. And um, it's really, it's pretty beat up, but the pages are good. So um, in case we can't find enough in the first one, we have the second one. And then I have, um, then I have the nature notes of the diary of an Edwardian woman. And they're, they're different. They're, you know, they've got pages where you can write things in actually Lisa's birthdays, <laughs> April 25th. So, you know, this again was used. And so I won't use those, but I'll be able to use around those pages, you know? So, um, so yeah, love it. It's fun to see what people write too. Planted three blueberry bushes right there in September. So that's the nature notes. Then, um, I also have the garden notes. I, I love Edith Holden. You can tell, can't you? So, um, so this one also has places to write. So, so I don't know, um, you know, how these will fit or anything. So I just grabbed anything garden related. Um, then, let's see. Then I have this one. It's called A Country Woman's Journal, Margaret Shaw. The Sketchbooks of a pas Passionate Naturalist. And um, so it's got this, it's got this kind of writing. And it's got pretty little um, illustrations and things. So it's, it, you know, it's more, it's more nature, but there are floral things in it too. So, um, so yeah, this one, the, A Country Woman's Journal, Margaret Shaw. And then there's this one, The Scented Garden, and it's by David Squire. And um, it's it's got some nice pages. They're shiny, which as you know isn't my isn't my favorite. But 
there's there's some pretty pages that might be fun. So so we'll see. We might use some of that. It's a very big book, so the pages would have to be cut quite a bit, but that's okay. Then this is the illustrated book of wildflowers. And of course, these books are books that I bought expressly for the purpose of fussy cutting and using the pages in my journals. So just so no one freaks out when I start to take pages. So the illustrated book of wildflowers, and this is by B.E. Nicholson and S. Ari M. Gregory. So yeah, it's a cool book. What's the book look like? Ooh, the book is cool. That's going to end up being a journal. Okay. And then the last but not least, A Garden Blessing by Wellerin Polar Polternes. Nez. Polternes? Something like that. Knees. Polternes. And as you can see, it's almost gone. I've used a lot of these pages. They're wonderful because they have these little little things to um, little phrases and, and things. They're just they're beautiful pages. So anyway, I'll be sad when this one's gone, but I'm going to just look at this. Look at the inside. It's really cool. Oh my gosh, that is cool. This would be a cool glue book, wouldn't it? Okay, so anyway, I digress. Those are the books. So we're gonna go, we're gonna go step by step through my process, and um, I won't film anything off camera other than maybe, I don't know, maybe once we get towards the end and some ephemera or something, but I'll try and do everything on camera. Okay, I have a couple of pages that came out of the um that uh, journal kit that I showed a while back. So those are just pages. I'm gonna put those down with the books and then I'm gonna show you the paper pack we're gonna use in this. I ha I've been working on my scrapbooking paper and I'm working hard to either use it or sell it in my Etsy or give it away or whatever. Um, the ones that I haven't used. This one, I have the whole collection and I thought that would be fun. Um, so this one is called Secret Garden Collection. Isn't it so pretty? Look at that. So, um, I love this little girl. This little girl, if that's on camera. Oh, there's two of those. Oh, maybe there's two of everything. It looks like it. Ooh, there's one we haven't seen. Aren't they pretty? So pretty, so pretty. And we're gonna use them. Purple. Oh, that one's pretty. Yeah, so. Oh, we haven't seen that one. Ooh, that is gorgeous. And then some journal cards. Wow, gorgeous. So we're gonna use it. These are chipboard elements. And then these are stickers. And we'll, we'll use a lot of the stickers in here. So that's what we're gonna use. So I think I've shown you everything I've gathered thus far, but we have prep work to do. First things first, before we get to the fun um, decorating part. Okay, so what I do, you guys, there's this is just my method. You can do whatever it is you wanna do. Um, is I, I take out everything out of these except for one of the original pages in each section. I do leave in these little, um, these little things. And this is um, what I will do then uh, when I sell these in my Etsy. 
what I do is I bundle up all the pages and give those with the book so that you have that so that you have both sometimes see this um, this little plastic thing sometimes I take that out because often those are worn and cracked and stuff because it's just plastic and this book is from 1954 this is the older one there's also a new better homes and gardens book and the, the other three I have are that one but this is the old vintagey one so first thing we're going to do is um, I am just going to grab my baby wipes and we're going to have ourselves a little scrub on here Um, that it's it's in pretty good shape but, but there's a few spots like see that just came right up little little dirty spots I mean this has been living in somebody's cupboard I probably got it at an estate sale I'm guessing so I have purchased these at antique stores before too um, and Usually they're all cleaned up though, the antique store ones are. So that's why I think I must have got this at a at an estate sale. But that actually cleaned up perfectly. I'm gonna do this spine. I hope that's not so close that I'm right in your face, but just take me a second. A little spot right there. But it is off. Now, if you get these and the um, spine is like, or the cover is super dirty and, and awful and you can't get it clean, you can, you know, you can do some covering of them. So recently I ordered on Etsy, it hasn't come yet, one of the handyman uh, version of this and... Um, uh, it is really in bad shape so that like the edges aren't good and stuff so I'm gonna have some major repair to do on that one but that's okay that's kind of a fun project too okay well I am super pleased with how that cleaned up now what I'm gonna do is just give a quick wipe to the inside covers and this plastic thing because I think I'm going to keep this one it helps the pages turn if it begins to annoy me I may remove it but usually I do remove them but look at how wow that's just cleaning up it's just it's just got a little dust the yellow does come off a little bit okay but that's fine okay let's do this side of this just scrub it up a little bit just it's just dust is the main thing but you know what is this book this book is 70 years old is that right yeah wow this book's older than me <laughs> and that's pretty old so kind of want that to dry a little bit Okay, and then I'm just gonna flip this over, give this a bit of a scrub. It's like, it almost looks like somebody dripped soda on it at some point. Oh my gosh. It's so cool to find ones that are in the 50s though, I love that. Okay. I think we're pretty tidied up this this little mark these marks are from the ring binders so not a lot we can do about this this piece of acetate I will probably just remove I don't know I'm deciding if the if the acetate gives it more of the vintage authentic look you know what I'm gonna leave it and if whoever gets this book wants it out of here, they can take it out of here, right? Okay, so let that dry up for a bit. 
Okay, while that's drying, because I don't want to lay it back, um, let's make, let's do our um, template. I'm just going to take out, I'm going to leave that page because that's just cool. And I'll take these out. Look at those pictures. Aren't they awesome? Okay, and then I'll just stack them as I take them out. But we're going to use one to make our template. So let me, let me close that back up. And lay this so that this can dry. Okay. I'll just I'll just set it aside for the moment. Oh yeah, see this one has this one's pulled through, but that's okay. I'm gonna leave it anyway. All right. Okay, so I'm just gonna make pencil marks. That's the easiest. Now, we're just going to cut it. Let's see, make sure that's where we need it to be. Give that a slice. And then on this side, give it a slice. Okay, a couple of scraps for the cardstock heap. Okay, and then what I do is I go ahead and punch the holes into it so that so that I can use this as a template. Because there'll be lots of hole punching through this process. <laughs> That's the one thing about five ring journals. Oh my gosh, lots of hole punching, but they're fun. So, oh, the other thing I was going to say, as far as like those of you who wanted a cookbook or wanted a, a sewing book or whatever, the theme obviously is different, but you can do the same pages that we're going to do just with, just with your own theme. So just because we're doing garden um, doesn't mean you can't work along if you want to. Okay, so there's our template. I am going to write, I'm going to write top up here. Okay, there's our template. I'm going to put that in our project box. Now we're going to look at this and we're going to remove, remove pages. So... I, what I try to do is leave a pretty page or two in each um, section. So lot planning. That's see, like look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Okay, let's let's just open up and stay open, and we'll just we'll just flip the ones we're gonna keep over here. So I mean, really. You could, you know, whoever gets this journal, they could, they could, if they wanted to, um, put all these pages back in if they wanted. I might, I might leave three in this section because I, I can't not use this one. Okay, we'll leave that. To be, and then we'll take the rest out, put them in our pile over here. And then, if we want to use some of these pages for um, decoration or ephemera or something, we can do that too. Make pockets out of them, whatever. That's pretty. There's that one, but. 
Maybe that, ooh, look at that one. Okay, we're gonna use this one. Okay. So theoretically, this should go fast, except I get to looking at the pictures and enjoying myself. <laughs> it takes longer than it should. Oh my gosh, look at that one. And that one, okay. Okay, I'm going to use this one. Look at that one. Isn't that pretty? This one's torn on the bottom, so we're going to have to do a little repair with a hole reinforcer. I saw that one, and I saw this one. And then we could, we could do something on this page to decorate it up if we want to. Okay, so that... Oh, man, they're so pretty. Okay, I think I'm gonna. I like for the color to be on this side. This one has color on both sides, but I'm gonna switch this out just because of where the color is. Okay, and those can go in the pile. Okay. This section is roses. Oh man, these two for sure. Look at that. And it's got color on this side too. Yep, those are the ones for there. Oh, we're getting there. This one is what? Shrubs. Those are kind of cool. Whoops. Oh, that one's pretty. Oh, look, there's a cute little girl looking over the gate. So, I think I'm going to keep three on this one. I'm going to, I'm going to keep these two because th those are just really pretty. Oh my gosh, there's another one. Okay, we're going to keep four in this one. <laughs> That's more than I usually do, but I just, I really liked those. Okay, evergreens. Oh, see, there's only one color one there, so we're only going to keep the one. So we evened out our last page somewhat okay this is vines there's only one okay garden pools hmm Okay, I guess we'll keep this little boy. This one's cool. I like this one better. Even though it's black and white, it's the full page. So I think I'll do that one instead. I hope it's helpful me just talking through how I make the decisions. This one's shade. And what do we have for shade? Not really much. We'll keep this one. Oh man, I'd like to be in that lawn chair with a good book. Oh, it's nice here. It is 48 degrees. Crazy. So, um, had our little walk, wore a light jacket. Walls. This one is, that's really pretty. We'll keep that one. Let's see if there's any other... Yeah. Ooh, that's pretty. We'll keep that one. Maintenance tools and storage. I'm not sure we're gonna have any pretty pictures of <laughs> this one. This one we may just we may just pull out. Yeah, nothing, nothing, nothing to see. Construction. 
in the home garden. Well, there's that one that has the pretty flowers. Everything else is pretty unremarkable. Okay. This one is soils. Once again, nothing to nothing exciting there. This one is vegetables. Pretty vegetables there. Nothing else really in color. Fruit. Look at the fruit trees. Wouldn't that be fun to have in your yard? So keep those apples and those cute little girls. Garden pests. Well, there's probably nothing pretty here. <laughs> Yep, caterpillars and beetles and stuff. <laughs> no, thank you. I know, bugs are part of the process, but I think we'll put pretty pages in instead. Window gardens. Oh, that's pretty. We'll keep that one. That one's pretty. Okay, keep those. Then seed starting, Propaga propagation, if you will. That's what it says, propagation. Well, that's pretty. We could put, we'll put a pocket right there. So yeah, we'll keep that one. That's pretty on the back. Garden reminders. Not exciting. And the index, also not exciting. I mean, information, but not pretty pictures. Okay, so we've gone from that big fat book to this. So now we have room to decorate. So all of these pages, as I said, I'll use some twine and put them together and Unless we use some for making ephemera or something, which we might. Okay, there we go. I'm going to set those aside. And so now what I'm going to do, oh my gosh, we're only half hour in. Isn't that great? So what I like to do then is take, um, is, ha is to start is to take a piece of the scrapbook paper and do some sort of a page for each section. Now we have, what do we have? 20 sections. We have 20 sections. And so, you know, we'll use a good bit of the paper for, for um, this part. Okay, I'm going to set our book aside. We've got this. And let's just let's just play. Let's just see what we can do with these papers. I'm gonna um, set that and the chipboard and the um, stickers. I'm gonna set those aside for the moment. So yeah, we'll do one of. So let's do this. Let's do. Let's separate them. See, those are kind of journal cards, which we may or may not use that. So we have four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11 different papers. So we can use basically, yeah, we can use with 20 sections. So we don't, you know, there's one that we may not use. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and 11, yeah. And that's not including the, um, the ones that have journal cards, although these could be considered journal cards. But we're gonna use that as a piece of paper anyways. Just kind of looking at them to see what we've got. Oh my gosh, they're so pretty. Okay, this is this little girl. What I was thinking with her is to kind of start off in the first section with her. Okay, let me get myself situated here. Okay, those can go down there and we'll use them one at a time. Okay, so see what I was thinking with our template is kind of just going right over like this because we're not going to be able to get the whole the whole thing in. I would like kind of like the birds, but they're going to be up in the corner, so they're not going to be very seeable, if you will. Okay, I'm going to start by cutting off the. Sorry, just dropped it. Sorry for the clang, guys. I'm going to start off by using the strip, get the strip off of here, and then deciding where to cut on the bottom. And in my little project tray, I'll be keeping all the scraps so that as we want various ephemera or whatever, we'll be able to grab it out of there. Now what I'm thinking is of just cutting right along that edge, right? Yeah. So I think that's what we'll do. Just cut right along there. Have, have that little strip. Um, and then, and then, and then. I want to go make sure I get the whole of the secret garden wording. So didn't I have a pencil? I guess not. I put it away. What was I thinking? Okay, so we're going to cut here. We're going to cut here. And we're going to cut here. Okay. Oh, it's always so hard to make the first cut in this beautiful paper. Oh, I should mention as well... I don't do much distressing in these books. Partially because of the time period, I want them to... Now, won't that make a nice tag? Oh, my gosh. That is so gorgeous. Um, I don't distress a lot because the time period of the 50s and that, it was, it was bright. And this um, particular theme... Lends itself to bright because it's flowers. Okay, so I'm going to line up with my pencil mark, at least try to. And this can make like a little pocket or something. But there's, so there's our first, our first page for our first. So, we'll do some variations too, but that's, I mean, it's a plain page, obviously, but it um, is so pretty, and I, I wanted this secret garden wording right at the front of the journal. So, let's just give this a punch. It's good, sturdy um, scrapbook paper, too, which is good also in these. 
It's been forever since I did a five ring binder journal, you guys. And I have them. I've just had other things to do. So, but isn't that so pretty? And then, um, but then on this side, I mean, it's totally blank, right? So I want to put um, a pocket of some sort on it so that um, I, there can be paper in here for garden notes, you know. So let's just look at these and contemplate them for a pocket. That's gorgeous. So is that. How am I supposed to decide? I wish you guys were here to tell me. I think I'm going to do this one. It doesn't blend as much because of that, I feel like. So, yeah. So I'm going to do that. Okay, that goes in the scrap bin. And I think I'd like a little thumb hole. Not very much because I don't want to lose the, any of the design really. I think I'm going to just go right here and just barely take out just, it looks like it's about the middle too. Just a tiny bit there. Now granted some distressing would make that stand out a little bit more but as I said this is just not a project that I do much distressing on so let's just glue that on and we'll have a page done when we get to the filling of the pockets and that sort of stuff there's some fun ideas for this type of journal that I don't use really in other journals to speak of. So that'll be fun too. Oops. Okay. So line that up at the bottom. Theoretically, it should lay pretty well. All right. First page done. That's exciting. Let's see how we're doing time-wise. Okay, we have about 20 minutes. 5, 10, 15, 20. Okay, so about 25 after. So, let's get this one in. Garden book. Yeah, this one's really bending. We'll fix that. Ugh. Um... So this is going to go right there. There we go. Isn't that so cute? Okay. Um, let's get some. Let's get some uh, ring things in this. You know what I'd like is I'd like orange. But all I have is white. So talk amongst yourselves while I grab some. didn't take too long. So I have one of my markers and let's see. So I'm going to need 10, aren't I? Let's just grab out a sheet of these. Um, and I'm going to grab just a piece of scratch paper. What do we have? 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So I'm just going to Take my marker because because I want orange and that's I want what I want <laughs> I want what I want for my birdie book yeah the the first page in there I've already gone over with my vintage photo distress ink that makes it fun um you know, vintage grungy looking reinforcement. But since I'm not distressing anything, 
to speak of. I mean, I may use some ephemera that I've already made that's distressed a little bit, but in general. Oh, I think that page looks so pretty with the yellow, um, yellow fronts too. I wouldn't mind covering up that front end paper, except that it's got the, it's got the coffee copy right on it. And I don't, don't want to lose that. So Did a couple of coats just because I wanted a little bit brighter. Okay. So we've got our, our 10 hole reinforcers. So we're just going to here. Dry it off a bit. Still wet. Okay, well we can wait a minute on that, right? I'll just I'll just put that back in there for the moment. Get rid of those and we'll put our book aside again. But open this time. Okay. Um and then so then what other things would we like to do? Um I am thinking this one, I'm going to cut off this first, of course, and then and then, and then. I'm going to cut it off to be the height of our page here. Cut that off. And then I think what I'd like to do is have this this way how much of that well we're gonna see I'm just gonna go for it so I'm gonna just put a little tick here and I want my scoreboard Okay, so I have about whatever it is, a little over six and a quarter. So that's only going to leave about a quarter of an inch. I think what I'm going to do... I think I'm going to cut off this. Bear with me. I have a plan. <laughs> At least I think I do. Okay. Okay. Now I'm going to pencil erase that mark and make our new mark for how big our page is now that we've cut that off so now it's right here okay I think this is gonna work work better okay so my next Step is to score this. 
Let's see, it's gonna fold that way. Oh darn, so let me just put the tick mark on the other side. So that, there it is. I can fold it the proper way. Okay, scored that. Now I'm going to um, get rid of my little mark there. Fold that over. Uh, hit it with the bone folder, and then I'm going to put my my holes here. So basically, I just wanted a, I don't know, fold over, flip out, whatever you want to call it. But it was just um, this this page would have come very close to the holes if I didn't trim off the um, border on this side. But that way we get to keep this whole pretty page. So let's go back to our book for a second. I think I'll go ahead and put these on so we can be done messing about with this. Oops, that one came off. Not ready for you yet. Okay. This will be great, and then this will be all ready. We may have to do whole reinforcers at, you know, other points through the book, too. But, you know, it's no biggie. And then I'm going to do this side, too. Yeah, they're nice and dry now. I'm not getting orange fingers. So, other than a few interruptions here or there for something else, I'm going to try and do these pretty much, um, pretty much daily work on this book until, until we're done with it. Okay, so now that goes in there. And, okay, so our first section has our title page and the title page for the journal is what I would say and a little pocket. Okay, we're in lot planning and let's see what we have here. Good, that's black and white. That's that works for me. Ugh. And then this will flip out. And probably as we get to decorating the book, I'll probably put a piece of paper and a piece of paper for notes and such. And then it'll have it'll have this pretty this pretty paper on the outside. Oh, I love that. So pretty. Okay, then this one. And do we have, nope, just black and white on that side. So that's good. All right. What else should we do? We only have about 10 minutes. Let's see. Let's see if the paper talks to us and tells us something. Oh my gosh, it's so, so pretty. Um, that one. I think I might like to use this. Oh, there is 10 of them because I got, I have a, you guys probably knew that. Not that one. 
I have a, I have a double, 10 of them. I thought so. So, okay. This one, I think what we're going to do, let's take this off first off. And this, I think we can get done in our time together and we'll have, we'll have three of our 20 pages done. <laughs> Yeah, there's a lot of work in these journals, no doubt about it, but they're so fun and worth it when you're done. Okay, and then um, let's cut it to size again, um, up and down wise. Okie dokie. Um, I need to think here. I think I'm going to take off one strip of these just because what I have in mind here, if it's a little bit shorter than the other pages widthwise, that's probably a good thing. Okay. So that's a fun little strip for something or another. And then we want to cut it our height of our book, which is another strip the other way, and then some. Okay, so what my thought was here was just to, let's grab the scoreboard again. And this is... Not quite evenly, so I'm going to do my little trick of pinching, and get that lined up. Okay. Oh, I did it the wrong way after all. I was, <laughs> but it works either way. It just uh, folds better if you have your dent on the outside of your fold. Valleys to mountains, mountains to valleys. Okay, so we have that. Now what I'm going to do is give this a punch here. Right, kind of more or less midway. And I'm going to um, move some of my stuff back here and grab my sewing machine. I do like to do a lot of sewing in these, and particularly um, when it's a sewing themed one, but, but this one too. So I'm just going to zigzag on the edges, and this is going to be a pocket. We could turn and go this way. We just have to make sure that our holes are um, going to miss, you know. I backstitched at the openings because 
this will get, you know, wear from things in and out. Okay, so then what we just have to be careful of is with our, um, sorry, I turned away, with our holes, I don't want them to hit the stitching, which they would right there. So what I'm going to do is just move them right above the stitching like so getting them straight and then hold and punch we're punching through two thicknesses so it's a little tougher but i think we can manage and it's just you know it's a quarter of an inch maybe even just an eighth of oh more like an eighth probably um that is going to just hang over in the spine and that shouldn't be any trouble. We'll try it. If it's trouble, we'll figure something else out. Okay. So, and this is going to go right here. And it's a little pocket. So again, we can put a large, a large journaling card in there for notes and things or a piece of coffee dyed paper, whatever we would want. Um, see, and it's gonna, it's closing just fine. It misses, it misses that. So, um, so when you're sewing on that end, oops, on that end, you just have to be careful not to punch your sewing line. So that's another little something different. Okay, I think I, I'm going to just, we're at a good stopping point, so I think we'll just stop there. But there we go. We've started on our five ring binder garden journal. So thanks so much for your input as to what you'd like to see. And um, I'll get busy and in between other journals, do some more of these five ring binders in the other subject matters so that... Um, yeah, so that we can have some fun with different ones. But um, I do I do love these. These are really fun to make. So anyway, um, of course, one other thing I should say, you know, there's this vintage, the vintage um, notebook and everything with the five rings. But you could use a three ring binder and do something similar for for a gardening journal. So if you have, don't have access to this particular vintage journal, that's a thought too. So anyway, thanks for crafting with me. Have a grateful day and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.